Hey, hey, welcome back. Uh, so we have been doing setup and we've getting our web app and our back end going. Let's write some code. Uh, so we're gonna write some code by starting to implement our CRUD method. So create, read, update, delete, CRUD. Um, create is usually the one we do first, uh, but actually if you look at it, we've already created some movie quotes, right? So we've actually already done some C. So we're gonna start with R. We're gonna start with reading these things in. So in order to read these things in, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my code here uh, and I'm gonna actually start off by preparing a little bit. Um, and the thing that I'm gonna use to prepare with is I'm gonna actually add another field to my movie quote class. I'm gonna add a string question mark, um, sorry, a key, uh, which is of type string question mark. Uh, it's of type question mark because it might exist, it might not. Um, it doesn't exist, like when you when you first make the quote, like on the client and you haven't sent it to the backend yet, it doesn't have a key at that moment in time. Um, and so it's gonna have potentially no key. Once you send it to the backend, you send it to Firebase and it comes back down, it'll have a key then, right? Or anything that you just received from Firebase will have a key. So usually it'll have a key, to be honest, but we're just preparing for when um, it's gonna have no key for that moment just before we send it to the backend. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by adding some code to our table view. So you can go to the table view controller. And then much later when we get to editing, we'll do things in the detail view. So the first thing we have to do is we have to import Firebase over here so that we've got access to Firebase. Uh, then I'm gonna give myself a little more screen real estate. Uh, and then what I wanna do is I wanna actually make a reference to Firebase. Uh, so I'm just gonna call this my quotes ref. Um, and it's going to be of type fur uh, database reference. So there's database reference. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put an exclamation point on here. Uh, this is the, the swift way of saying, you know, hey, and like giving him the finger, right? Uh, hey, I'll take care of it, right? So I will take care of making sure that this exists before I ever use it uh, off my back optionals. Great. In order to um, set the quotes ref, uh, so quotes ref is going to be equal to for database dot database. Um, so you've surely forgotten it because you only learned it in Objective C. But but if you want to start interacting with your database, uh, this is how you do it. You say for database dot database. That gives you the database object, um, and then if you want a reference to your database object, this is actually a valid reference. This right here would be the root. Uh, so basically this would be a reference to uh, this very top guy. We want a reference to the quotes path. So we're actually gonna say database reference uh, dot child um, and the child that we want is quotes. So at this point we have a reference uh, to our quotes path, uh, which has a couple movie quotes in it uh, in Firebase, which is great. The next thing we want to do is we want to start um, adding some observers. Reading is actually going to require three different observers. Uh, so we're going to add an observer uh, for child added events. Uh, so that's one type of observer we want. This is very different than uh, things we did with objects. So I guess I could catch the slides up. Um, but with, with a repeated path, so you've got like a lot of children on this path, um, it's a little bit more complex, right? So you don't wanna just listen for value uh, because it would just give you all the data every time something changed. Um, and we can do better than just giving you all the data every time. We can actually give you the children one at a time, right? So when somebody gets added, we're gonna tell you about just that one child that was added. If somebody gets removed, we tell you just the one that got removed, right? So this added change remove structure is it helps you with efficiency a lot so uh, these are the three listeners that we're going to add so i guess i could have just copy paste my to do uh, so we're going to do child added and then changed uh, and then removed will be last and once we write one it'll be easier to write the others the other thing we should always be thinking about is if we've got a um, continuous observer and it's being added somewhere uh, we should really have a plan to, you know, to do uh, remove Firebase observers, right? So that's just 
good habit to be in. I was speaking of good habit. Uh, I suppose I should call view did uh, disappear super. Um, <laughs> I know that it doesn't do anything, um, but it's still a good habit. Uh, and we're in the we're in the process of good habits. All right, so let's start writing these things. So what we want to do is we want to take our quotes ref uh, and we want to observe event uh, type. No, it's not a single. We're, we're doing like a continuous observing here. Um, and I'm going to hit enter to show me my options. So my options are um, child changed, child added, uh, child moved. I don't care about child moved. We're not messing with child moved. Um, and then there's value. Value is what we used last time when it was like a single, a single thing we were listening for. So we want child added. Uh, and then with block. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and select it and hit enter. Uh, so this block is going to receive a uh, Firebase snapshot. Um, autocomplete was nice there because it, uh, it told me what type of object it was, but it didn't actually give it a name. So I have to give it a name. Um, you can call it uh, data snapshot. Uh, you can call it snapshot, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call mine snapshot. So what I want to do in here is I want to do, uh, you know, just some best practice things. Uh, the first thing I want to check is just to make sure that there's there's a value in here. I think last time what I did is I checked for the value being um, the NS null object. Uh, I've since realized there's actually just a method uh, called exist. Um, and so if for some reason the snapshot doesn't exist, I'm pretty sure it's going to always exist in this situation. Uh, I'm just going to say something went wrong. Uh, the data snapshot doesn't exist. I'm just going to return, right? Um, I just kind of like to do a minimal amount of error checking. It's not real error checking. It's just throwing a log uh, before I move on with life. So in this case, the snapshot exists. Yay! Um, so we're going to do something with this snapshot. Uh, I'm going to be a little verbose. Uh, and I'm just going to grab off all the pieces kind of individually, right? So a snapshot, it's got a key property on it, which is great. Uh, the snapshot also has a value. Uh, so I could say dot value. Uh, this value has a couple things in it. One thing it's got is it's got a movie uh, inside of it. And it's also got a quote, right? So I can say snapshot dot value movie. Uh, and then snapshot dot value quote. I'm actually going to put the quote first. Uh, and of course, one of these was an optional, so I've got to add a question mark or an exclamation point or something like that. Uh, and then I guess also I ought to tell it what type of variable it is. So it's a it's a string. Uh, so I know that it's a string because my rules guarantee me it's a string. But Objective C and the Swift compiler have no way of knowing that it's a string. Uh, so here I've captured. The key, the movie, and the quote, uh, those are all the important pieces of information. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a simple little log. Just got the movie quote, um, and then I'll just kind of use string interpolation here to say what it is. So the quote uh, from some movie, um, and then I'll just log the key as well. Uh, didn't mess with good grammar there, uh, just kind of made it happen. Great, so at this point, uh, when I run it, uh, nothing will display on the device, obviously, uh, but if it worked, I should actually get all three of my quotes in the logs, uh, which would be super. It says, just got the movie quote, uh, test for my web app, uh, and it's got a key, yo Adrian, it's got a generated key one, uh, and I'll be back with a generated key two. Uh, so it totally just worked, right, uh, which is great. Um, so now we've got to actually do something to make it show up in the UI. Before we do that, though, before we before we do that, is I want to do just a little refactoring. Uh, so really, these things that I'm doing here, um, saving it off into individual fields, it's okay. Um, but I would rather have a movie quote object, right? So what I really want to do um, is I want to create a movie quote object. So it'd be great if I could just like say, you know, new movie quote uh, is equal to movie quote. Um, and I just had a constructor that I could pass things to. Obviously, I could take quote movie uh, and, and add one more for key. But really what I would rather do is I would rather just pass it the whole snapshot, right? 
Um, so like that's kind of what I want to do. And and with the way Swift works uh, with constructors is you have to say what you're passing it. So I'm going to pass it uh, something called snapshot. And then the snapshot happens to have the same name, uh, which is this object snapshot. So that's what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this stuff out of here um, and go make a new constructor. So I'm going to go over to my, my movie quotes object. I've got a bunch of stuff on my clipboard that I want to make sure to not lose. Um, and I'm just going to import Firebase over here, uh, and I'm going to make another constructor. Move it up on my screen a little bit there. Uh, so I want to do an initialization uh, where I pass it a snapshot, uh, which is a fur data snapshot. There's what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm going to pass it a snapshot, uh, and then I'm going to paste in my stuff for my clipboard. Um, and that's going to take the snapshot.key. Uh, instead of setting it to a new variable called key, I'm going to say self.key, uh, self.movie, sorry, self.quote, and then self.movie, uh, which is going to be pretty darn cool. Great. So now I've got a new constructor, um, which makes uh, creating these things better. Also, if you wanted um, this like text of, of quote here, if you wanted to be a little bit like more robust, you could actually just say like quote key, uh, and you could just actually specify it as a variable. This is what's called avoiding magic numbers. Uh, admittedly, these aren't numbers, they're strings, um, but it's actually best practice to try to type as, as few things like this as you possibly can, right? So I'll just say self dot uh, movie key, great. Uh, took Xcode a little bit to catch up there, uh, but now I'm kind of more more future-proofed uh, as I want to make changes and refactor things. Uh, those magic words are only in one spot. Uh, so I could run it now, uh, except for I killed my print statement. Um, and also I want to display it on the screen anyway. I'm, I'm over print statements. So how did we put stuff on the screen before? Um, so the way we put things on the screen before is we use this create quote, um, and it kind of did two tasks for us, right? So it it created the quote, um, and then, so this area is kind of like the creation of the quote, uh, and then what it did was it actually put it into the table and did some table reload things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut this out of here. So I just cut it, um, and I've got to come visit this area later anyway. So I'm just going to leave it broken down there, which is fine. And I'm going to paste it up here. Uh, so the first thing I notice is that down there I use the name movie quote. Up here I use the name new movie quote. Um, don't care uh, what I type, but they do have to be the same, right? So now what this is going to do is this is going to take my new movie quote um, and it's going to insert it into that list of movie quotes. Uh, and it's going to do all my table stuff. Um, so that should actually do it, right? Um, so we'll we'll see if it works. It should. <laughs> and so it loads. I kind of quickly said no movie quotes. Uh, and then it says all my different quotes. Cool. Um, you can still drill into them, uh, which is great. Uh, and when you come back, I think there's going to be a bug that I haven't done yet. Yeah, there's a bug. Um, when you're doing development, things like this happen. So you drill into it. You see it. Uh, and then when you come back, your list gets longer, right? Um, you might be able to guess why that's happening already. Um, and it's it's fine, but it's it's because in view will appear, um, I add all my listeners again from scratch, right? So that's fine. Lots of ways to fix this. Um, the way I'm going to fix it is I'm going to say uh, movie quotes. Uh, so that's my array. Uh, remove all. So I'm just I'm just fresh slating it uh, and adding my observers. Another way you could have solved it is I put these listeners inside uh, view will appear and so that I could take them off later. If you had done it within view uh, did load, you wouldn't have this problem at all. Uh, but now you can see that it um, actually kind of like doesn't continue to propagate. There's pros and cons of what I'm doing here with like the adding and the removing of listeners. It's actually inefficient for this app to add them and remove the observers, um, but it is it would be best practice in uh, if your app got bigger. 
Um, I kept saying adding and removing, but I'm not really removing them yet. Um, it's pretty easy to remove them. Um, I'll cheat and I'll do the simple one, uh, and that is to remove all observers. Uh, that'll just make my life a little easier. There are times where that is dangerous uh, because we're in view did disappear. And if like there's another view controller appearing at the same time this one disappears, uh, there's a chance that they could really mess with each other. Um, so the right way to do it, I'm too lazy to do it right, um, is to save off a handle to each of these uh, and then remove only those handles. That is the best practice. Not doing it here because I'm lazy. All right, so there's three listeners for read. Uh, there's listening for when they're added, changed, and removed. Added uh, is good enough for this video, right? So you've got quotes. They're showing up in the table, uh, and we're going to cut it off here, and I'll see you next time uh, when we add the child changed and child removed. See you then. Bye. Mm -hmm.